Hey, Julie Burke here. How's it going? Coming to you live on this uh, Halloween day. Happy Halloween, everybody. Uh, super excited to be here. Um, I'm waiting to pick up uh, my son from school and I uh, just wanted to pop in and do a really quick video uh, training about uh, none other than video marketing. And look at this guy has to park next to me like right now. So sorry, it's not the best scenery, you guys, but it has to do. You guys, as busy parents, busy, right? Busy parents, um, um, we have to just go anywhere with our business. Look at, he's probably like, why are you talking to your rear, rear view mirror? Like, seriously, that's probably what he's thinking, you guys. Anyways, uh, my son gets out. Uh, I think in about 10 minutes, so I'm going to have to kind of cut this video short and sweet, it, but I'm going to really get straight to the point as you guys know me. I don't like doing fluff. I like to get straight to the point, but I also need to pick up Landon uh, from preschool. So we're going to kind of cut this, um, get straight to the point today. So anyways, if you're new uh, to who I am, my name is Julie Berg. Um, I specialize in helping network marketers bring their business online. Okay, let's just let's be seen, get heard, and start generating more leads for your business. Um, so, anyways, I, I work with not only network marketers, I work with affiliate marketers, coaches. Basically, I specialize in online marketing. So, if you are new to me, after this broadcast, don't go now. After this broadcast. Head over to createsuccesswithjulie.com, drop in your um, email and grab one of my free resources. I have many there and I do, you guys, those that have been following me, I have some new resources coming out, just top secret. I'm super excited because you guys are going to love what I have coming out. I know this because I'm questioned every single day day about how to utilize a fan page to grow your following and to make more sales. And so if that gives you a hint, cool. Okay. Anyways, so today I wanted to talk about video marketing and I know I put that post out there earlier about the little diva light and wow, um, how many of you guys want a diva light? It was awesome. The reaction. Um, so I do have to tell you though, this is part one and tomorrow will be part two. So I'm gonna talk more about that tomorrow. Um, however, this is super important for me to dive into. So one of the ways I was able to grow such a rapid, rapid following, you guys almost hitting 40,000 followers in um, I think 14 months on my fan page. I started it in July of just last year. It's absolutely crazy, okay, how quickly it's grown. And I have to tell you that um, there are some things to understand around doing uh, videos and around f primarily Facebook Live live stream. So before I could get in and talk to you about content that you should be talking about and how to strategize around the content and how to boost the content and what kind of equipment that you want, I mean, I'm asked this every single day, um, we have to really hit head on um, the fear. Okay, like because I could throw at you all this crazy stats about where Facebook Live is going in the direction of live stream and all this stuff um, to really like pump you up. But here's the thing you have to understand that there's um, a lot of roadblocks for a lot of people. Would you agree? Drop me a yes below if you agree. If you have some sort of um, limiting belief, self-doubt, or fear around doing Facebook Live or video, drop me a yes below, okay? Because today I want to debunk your most, your five most common fears. And I know that they're fears because I had them too. When I was told to do video marketing, the very first person ever in December of 2015 was Nadia Melton, who told me to do a video. And I was very new to this whole online marketing branding space, okay? And I'm like, you're out of your mind. I think I actually said that to her. Um, it was the only conversation I ever had with Nadia at that time. I mean, now we're very close friends, but at the time I said, you are out of your mind. I'm not doing a video. Anyways, I did a video. She's very persuasive, okay? But I did a video once and that was it. I was like, I did it, I'm done, cool, I didn't die, I'm done, all right? Well, um, I had no one to hold me accountable, and I started 
thinking I needed other people to hold me accountable. And you guys, you don't need other people to hold you accountable. You have to hold yourself accountable, okay? So I want to talk about the five most common um, fears, and that is, um, number one, the fear of how you look. Look at they're getting back in their car, these cute little kids. Um, the fear of how you look and sound, right? Right? The fear of messing up. That's another one. Okay, the fear of being judged. I could talk to him blue in the face about that. Um, the fear of it not being perfect and the fear of not knowing what to talk about. Am I right? If I am right, I want to see some hearts or some thumbs up or some emojis or something. Are these the five fears? Because this is the, these are the five fears that I dealt with. Okay, and I want to help you overcome the fear because I'm telling you right now, um, there has been nothing faster inside my business um, besides what I was talking about this past week when I was promoting Kate's stuff about hosting online events. Besides that, there's been nothing else that has grown a following so freaking rapid. And it didn't happen overnight, you guys. It did not happen overnight because you have to understand the strategy after you you do your Facebook Live of what to do. But these fears, okay, we're going to talk fear, all right? These fears will kill your success, okay? It will kill your success faster than anything. So we need to totally eliminate and debunk the five most common fears. So first of all, you're sabotaging your own income, worrying about what others think, okay? It's not, it is literally scientifically proven that not 100% of the people are going to love you. 50% will if 50% won't. So why are you focusing on the 50% that won't? Who gives a crap? Like seriously, this was a big one that I needed to overcome, okay? Um, so I had to stop worrying about what other people think. That was probably my main fear when I got started on my fan page. I was worried, what is my downline going to think? What is my upline going to think? What if I messed up? What if I, I was so scared of being judged, okay? And look where that led me. If you know my story, you know I was with a network marketing company for five years. My upline totally disapproved of me branching out and branding myself and starting my own coaching business and helping other network marketers. And so they poo-pooed on my parade. <laughs> I'm using good language in case the kiddos are around, okay? Um, and so what happened? They didn't like it anyways, and I ended up leaving that company and joined a new company, and now I'm happier than ever. Do you understand? Like, yes, that wasn't an overnight decision either, but I walked away from multiple six-figure income to start over because they didn't align with my views. So who cares, right? They're go you're going to be judged anyways. I'm probably being judged right now when I'm doing this Facebook Live. Who cares? Someone will probably send me an angry face at some point. Who cares? Because guess what? You have the power to delete and block. It is your best friend. I delete and block. And so will you. So stop worrying about what others think. Okay? You have to just start living your life for you and not living your life for others. All right? There's no value in that. All right. Stop being a secret. Stop being a secret and allow yourself to shine. Okay? Um, listen, you don't need millions of of people following you, okay, um, to make an impact on someone. You need just one. Do you understand that? You just need one. You need one person to make an impact on, all right? I know we all want a million followers. It's not about that. It's not about how many followers you have. Yeah, I say I have 40,000 followers, but I could also have 40,000 non-engaged followers. It's about engaging. How do I keep them engaged? I keep them engaged by showing up every day and making this page my job, I don't want to say my job, it's not my job, but I make this page my priority. There you go, my priority. All right, you guys got that? So when I started my fan page, I was like, all right, yeah, I got my personal page, but guess what? I don't want any of my warm market. I want cold market. I want to, I want to meet people around the world. I want a place that people could come to and feel safe. Why? Because I'm actually in the trenches with all of you. I'm actually building a network marketing business, you guys. I've actually utilized social media in the last five years to build a huge profitable, profitable freaking business. I am not some guru out there that is giving you advice that is not building a business, 
Okay, so I don't teach you out of theory. I don't teach you because I go, you know, read a book. No, I teach what I apply. Does that make sense? Does this make sense? Okay, so I'm showing up here and I am allowing myself to give you my time and my value and and more content to help you grow your business because I care. I truly care. Okay, I don't just do this stuff for my health, right? I didn't just overcome this fear just because. I overcame the fear because I kept doing it and 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 doing it. You guys, does this make sense? When I didn't want to do it, I did it. When I didn't want to push the button, I pushed it. When I didn't know what I was going to talk about, I found something. Does that make sense? Okay, so stop allowing this to hold you back. You don't need to be Oprah, right? We're not the Steve Harvey show, right? I'm not Ellen DeGeneres. I don't care to be. I don't need to be the celebrity brand. All I want to do is help more people, impact more people, and show up as me. Okay, in the beginning, I was worried about how I was going to look. I was worried about how I was going to sound. I don't wear makeup every day. I was very nervous about this stuff, you guys. And again, what did I do? I just had to keep showing up and allow my audience to get to know me. Okay, so allow your audience um, or soon to be audience to get to know you. All right. Um, So I promise that they have the same pains. They have the same struggles because you'll be attracting those people through your messaging, right? As you do, they're going to have the same pain as you do. So allow them in, allow them in so they understand. So you, and the one thing you want to do is to show them that you understand their pains and their problems, right? And their struggles. Um, Also, let me tell you something about perfection. Okay. Perfection sucks, period. I tried perfection. Perfection gets you nowhere. When I was trying to be perfect, I wasn't doing video, okay? Because I was so nervous about being perfect. Does that make sense? So perfection is for poor people, period. Perfection gets you nowhere because perfection is a fallacy. Like, it's false, okay? There's, even when you see on the outside, you someone could look into my life and they'll be like, oh, she's got a perfect life. She's always traveling. She's this and she's that. She's successful. You guys... What they don't see is me up until two, three o'clock in the morning doing the stuff that most people won't do. Most people don't see me crying sometimes in my office, right? Because I have maybe a creative block when I'm trying to create something or um, whatever. Maybe someone told me, no, they don't want to join my network marketing business, right? So I, I go through all the same pains and struggles that you do. I just decide to keep going and to keep doing it and to do the things that most people don't do because they allow fear to hold them back. Okay. This is, I hope this is resonating with any of you guys. I, if it is again, um, drop me, give me a thumbs up, drop me an emoji down below. Give me a thumbs up emoji here. Okay. So listen, before I head out, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to share something. Um, you need to think about three questions when you're doing video, you guys. Um, there are three questions when you're prospect is watching your video that you need to answer. So you definitely want to make sure that you're wrapping your content around this. And again, tomorrow, video number two, okay? Part two of video marketing is tomorrow. So show up, bam, right here on my fan page. I will post the meme in the morning. I don't know if it's going to be exactly the same time, but just make sure you're checking out my page in the morning. I'll post the meme. I have some coaching clients tomorrow. All right. So here's the three things. Um, Can they trust you? So you need to be genuine and authentic. Let me take these off. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I sometimes forget I have these sunglasses on. So you want to be uh, genuine and authentic. um, And I do have to kind of run. All right. um, Do you understand them? You have to make sure that you identify with their pains and their struggles. And then you know how to create your content. This And this is where you want to share your story. You want to get more vulnerable. Like, I don't. I don't hold my story back of what happened with my last company. I mean, I literally had the house come down on me like big time, right? And I could have crumbled up into a ball and said, forget network marketing, forget it. I'm not joining another company and allow them to allow myself to be defeated. But I didn't. Okay. I had, I had to pick up the pieces just like we all have to pick up the pieces when, you know, stuff goes wrong in our life. Um, and then can you help them? Right. Do you have this solution? Right. So be intentional with your content right? Don't just show up just to show up, just to show up to do a Facebook live. Be intentional. What do you want the end result to be for them? Okay. So always create your, your content, 
knowing that you want to lead it to the next step. It's so funny. You guys, I have like, I feel like I'm talking like this and parents are standing out here waiting for the kids. <laughs> it's hilarious. Um, and I'm talking to my rear view mirror. So I, I put my phone up here and I put my hair tie around my phone. Anyways, um, scroll moment. So that's it. Um, can they trust you? Are you being genuine and authentic? Do you understand them? Do you understand them? Like I understand my audience pains and struggles because I live it, right? Right? Like I'm in the trenches, just like I said earlier, I'm not the guru trying to pretend that I'm gonna teach you something that I don't know, right? So here I am. Um, so I get it. When somebody says no or somebody goes missing in action or um, if I can't figure out something to do with you know, the online world and I get frustrated, like I understand all those frustrations, okay? Um, and can you help them? All right, guys. So listen, I hope you found value in this. I hope we could like really hit this head on because I would love to see all of you doing a Facebook Live or a video. Now, I know I posted about the Diva Light. I need you to show up tomorrow because I will tell you how you can win it on tomorrow's video, okay? And if you have questions so I can talk about this tomorrow, I need you to drop a comment below. If you have any questions around video marketing about Facebook Live. If you do do video and not a Facebook Live, I'm gonna um, also share with you some apps I use to really help me kind of um, stay on target with my videos. It's super, super cool. And um, obviously a lot of people definitely want this Diva Light Ring. I will tell you, I have one. It's amazing. Um, and so you gotta show up tomorrow. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna share with you how you can win this, okay? And I mean like, you know, win it pretty soon. All right. So, um, this is not a contest. I'm going to have like ongoing, ongoing, ongoing. It'll be like a 48 hour contest thing. All right. So there you have it. You guys go out, crush your business, live life with joy, purpose, and freedom, which is my motto. If you are new to me, um, I would love for you to say new and say hello and then head over to create success with Julie.com, grab a free resource, um, over there. And if you're watching the replay, I need you to type in hashtag replay. If you found value, tag somebody, share it, share it, share it. Sharing is caring. All right, guys. Love you guys. I will see you all real soon. Put your questions below and I'll see you tomorrow um, on part two. Bye.